Um, recording. There we go. So, um, yeah, first of all, good evening, everybody. Um, for those that don't know me, uh, my name's Paul Gillingham. I'm a master seller with, um, with Direct Sellers. Um, it's, it's a very exciting opportunity. Um, it's a very new opportunity. Um, and apologies for, for looking half asleep. Um, I, I got back in from Vegas this morning after being out there for 48 hours for the official, official launch of Direct Sellers. So tonight's call is a bit of a different one. Um, so again, for those that, are, that, those that are brand new, for those that have not seen anything at all, I'll go through a little bit about what Direct Sellers is, um, how it's came about, where it's going. Um, and for those that have seen something or that are already in the business, then I'll, you know, I'll relay some of the information that I got told um, in Vegas. Um, I'll, what, the majority of the information will, I'll relay back to, to everyone on Thursday evening on the, on the welcome call, the getting started training call, because I, what I don't want to do is I don't want to flood, flood people with information that don't really know what's going on at the moment. So I want to try and keep it, you know, I want to try and keep it um, as, as best that I can. Um, and this is obviously taking place instead of tomorrow night's opportunity call because Shayo is flying home tomorrow night and unfortunately I'm not available to tomorrow night. So tonight is the opportunity call for this week. So there's no call tomorrow night um, and we will be back for the, for the team call for the getting started training um, or the welcome call on the Thursday night. So um, yeah, so Direct Sellers is a, is a premium wine, wine club. Um, it's actually been a wine club for the last four years. Um, it's only been a network marketing model since April of, of last year. So in terms of positioning, in terms of, you know, being in front of, of a company that's, you know, before momentum strikes, um, having that opportunity to be, to be involved from, from day one, this is, this is pretty much as new as it gets. Um, the team that we're all in has been going since... November the 3rd or November the 4th I think it is I think it's just over 110 days um, in that 110 111 days over 1850 people have been put into into the business um, when and I remember when I got a phone call and again apologies for those that have, have listened to calls before and listened to my story but I remember it was um, it was a Sunday afternoon and I'm actually sitting in the front room for those that have been on calls before they would know that in the backdrop, there's like a brick wall of, of wallpaper. And I've had to do this in the bedroom. Um, so for the first time, I'm actually sitting in the front room on our sofa in our front room that's nearly, nearly done. We need radiators and we need lights and we need curtains and we need a fireplace. But we've now got a carpet and we've now got skirting boards and we've now got a sofa. So I'm actually sitting in the front room doing this. Um, so yeah, I got a, I got a text message from from Shayo, who's who's my upline, and she asked me the, the the very simple question, "Do you drink wine?" And it it kind of threw me a little bit because like no one ever really asked me that, but I thought that she was watching me somewhere. I thought you know is she standing outside? Have I got CCTV cameras in here? So my response was, yeah, of course I do. I'm actually drinking a glass right now. So she got on the phone to me and she told me about this opportunity that is direct sellers. And I've, I've always had this, you know, this thought for the last couple of years, and I've said it a few times to people, some that are on the call as well, that if there was ever an opportunity for a network marketing model that came about that involved the distribution of wine, it, it would be massive. So my response to her was, you know, where do I sign? Get me in, tell me what I need to do, um, and I'm in. And I, I actually signed up and I registered before I'd even seen anything. It was one of those opportunities where I thought, I don't want to miss out on this. I want to be involved from an early stage. I want to see where this goes, and I'm looking forward to it. So when I got into, in, into this Facebook group, I think there was less than 300 people um, in this in this group and every day i remember waking up and it was just notification after notification after notification and again for those that are now involved you'll kind of back me up on this that the messages that we get is 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 so positive in the fact that it's either please welcome or please congratulate or please welcome or please congratulate so 
this was just just before Christmas. Um, in the first month, I, I hit the the top rank in the comp plan, um, which is master seller. And again, I don't say that to boast or to brag because, to be honest, it's it, it's nine personal people, and you've hit the top of the compensation plan. Um, Crystal's nearly there. She'll be there there over there about this week. Um, there's a handful of people that I know that are going to be doing it this month or next month, should I say, going into March. So it's it's not it's not a difficult rank to hit, but it is a difficult rank to hit because any kind of work that anyone has to do is difficult. I'm not saying that we all know how, how tough network marketing is. So I've, I've personally enrolled 13, I think it is. I've just had a notification come up tonight, but my team is now touching 100. Um, and it's such a powerful compensation plan and it's the first company that I've ever been involved with where it really is like a real big team effort. There's, there's no teams within teams with this. It's just, it's just a, a, a team effort. So as I said, Direct Sellers is, is a premium wine club where you can distribute wine and get paid or you can get it for free. So at the moment, it's not launched into the UK. However, over the weekend, we did get told that it will be within the next 60 days. Um, I haven't been given an exact date yet. And the reason I haven't been given an exact date yet is because there's a few little bits and pieces that they still need to sort out in terms of compliance. Um, but we did go and speak to the guys at the end of the conference and they said it will be within the next 60 days. So basically between now and then, we've, we've got to kind of ramp up our activity. Um, the people in the States are going to be pitching and, and talking to everyone in the UK. So this is where we've now got to go to work um, and we've got to go, go crazy with this. So there's two different ways that you can, you can join the business. Um, you can be a customer um, and there's two different packages to become a customer. The first one is $49, which gets you two bottles of premium wine. The second package is $79, which gets you four bottles of premium wine. Um, if you was to get three customers on board with you, so three people that wanted to, you know, wanted to just try the wine, they wasn't interested in the business, they wasn't fussed about getting paid to do it, they just wanted the wine. If you get three customers that wanted to just drink the wine, then your wine is free thereafter. And every month after that, that they are purchasing their own wine. Now, these wines come from all over the world. Um, you, you get different wines every single month. Um, on the Saturday night in Vegas, there was like a huge wine tasting event where there was 28 different wines that you could go and try. I didn't try all 28, trust me. I didn't. I think I stopped at six or seven. Um, but 28 different wines. And again, as I said, I, I've, got, I've got a list of the wines now. So for people that are asking what type of wines they are or have we got any information with, with regards to, to some of the wines that we use, then I've got that list for you now. So that's, that's the customer bit. Um, you, you as, as business partners, and I'll go into how you can become a business partner in a minute. As business partners, you can, you can, um, you can get paid or you can get benefited from customers and customers' customers. So it's not just your own personal customers. If you've, if you've got a customer that comes in and is a huge customer gatherer, um, and that goes out and gets, you know, 10, 15, 20 different customers. As the business partner, you'll be the one that gets benefited. The customers will only get their wine for free. They won't get any more benefits on top of that. So for, for business partners, for getting involved in the business, for those that see the opportunity, that, that understand the opportunity, that would like to create some time freedom or tire, create some financial freedom this year, Again, there's two packages that you can join up on. The first one is on a $249.95. dollars That's dollars. We've not got um, pounds at the moment, so it's all dollars. For that, you get four bottles of premium wine. You get a year's um, subscription, training materials, website, back office, access to, to everything that helps you run your business. And you'll get 20% off all future wines going forward. So if you wanted to, you know, if you've got a birthday or if you've got a party coming up where it comes to Christmas and, and you wanted to get an extra wine, 
um, you can get 20% off of all future wines going forward. Or the, the other package you can come in on is a 499.95 package. Um, for that, you get 12 bottles of premium wine and you get three years subscription with all your training materials. So even though it's, it's, it's double the price, you basically get three times as much. So you get three times more wine, you get three years instead of one year, and you get 40% off purchase of wine going forward. Um, now, it's, it's entirely up to you which package that you want to come in on. Um, some of you that have done other businesses before, I know that they're very hard to push the higher package um, because it helps them or it creates bigger stories. And, but this is not the way that we're doing this. And it's, it's certainly not the way that I want to do it. It's, I want to work with people that, you know, that understand what we're doing, that want to have fun in a network marketing business, that want to be able to do what they want when they want in the time that they've got it. And if, if you can only, you know, if you want to come in on a 249 package, great. If you want to come in on a 499 package, great. Um, one of the biggest benefits to this business that I've seen, which I haven't seen in any other company, is the fact that they offer a 50% fast start bonus. So every single person that you personally sign up, you get 50% of their, their sign-up fee. So if, if you've got someone that comes in on a 249.95 kit, you're going to get $125 back. If you sign someone up on a 499 kit, you get $250 back. Now, the good thing is it doesn't matter what kit you're on. So if you're on a 249 kit and you've signed someone up on a 499 kit, you still get 250 back. So you've made your money back on that one purchase. Um, Andy, I've just seen your message. I would have thought it would be pounds. Um, I'm not 100% certain, but I'm, I'm fairly certain, I'm fairly confident that it will, be, it will be pounds. So they're the two kind of packs that we've got. Um, as I said, the wine is, the fulfillment center, what I've been told is all ready to go. Um, the wine is all ready to go. We've just got a few bits and pieces left to, left to get going with, left to, you know, tick off and, uh, and make sure that it's all ready to go. Um, one of the things that, you know, gives me more confidence with this is the fact that a guy called Kevin Thompson, who is the number one attorney in network marketing worldwide, um, is, is spearheading this. So he's involved with this and he gave, he gave a talk on Saturday, Saturday morning it was, because he's partnered up with direct sellers. Now, he, he works with hundreds of other companies, um, but what he liked about what direct sellers were doing is that they're, they're doing it for all the right reasons. So by that, I mean that they're, they're not, he doesn't get asked questions like, what can I do to, to get around this problem? Is there any way that we can, you know, miss out this? Is there, is there a way that we can do it, do this without doing that kind of thing. It's, it's all very much above board. Um, so any questions that anyone's got or any questions that anyone gets back regarding compliance, um, mention the name Kevin Thompson um, and most people will you know, do their due diligence and find out that he's up there with the very best. And one of the things that he loves about what we're doing with direct sellers and a network marketing company is the fact that the customer retention rate in the States, um, the customer retention rate in the States at the moment is above 90%. Now, again, for those that have done networking before that have been in other previous companies, you'll understand that 90% is a very, very, very um, high figure with regards to um, customer retention. So it's something that we, we, need, to, we, we need to nail on when, when the wine comes over here. Um, Again, people will, will, you know, will debate the fact that it's, it's, it's X amount for a bottle of wine, but we've got to go back and say it's premium wine. And if you get three customers, then you get your wine for free. Um, another thing that he liked about what, what direct sellers do is, is um, if, you, if you get a wine, if you get a bottle of wine that you don't like that you've had before, then phone up customer services and they will change it over for you. Um, and he said that the customer service desk or the customer service team um, is the best is the best in the business. He said it's a, a real, you know, first class, world class customer service team that we've got here. 
Um, and he's, he's, you know, he's looking forward to where we're going to go. So the vision, the vision where the owners want to come, want to go to. And again, it was great to, to see the four founders and the four owners. Um, their aim by the year 2020 is to have another event back in Vegas um, and for them to be the largest wine club in the world. Um, and to be honest, the way things are going at the moment, it, it, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, I, like I said at the beginning of the call, and like I said two years ago, if, if a company in MLM done wine, it's going to be a big hit. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm excited about it. Um, and what I'm going to do now, before I like, really lose my voice, um, is I just want you to hear from a couple of people that, that are, are doing the business, um, that are in the business, um, and just to share their story. So, Lisa, are you, are you on the call? And can you unmute yourself if you are on the call? Hello, can you hear me? I can. Hello, Paul. Hello, everyone. Yeah, can you just literally just spend a few minutes just like sharing your story what excited you about getting in how you come to to obviously getting in because it's a it is a very very powerful story and just your visions for the future really with where we can go with this okay hi for those that don't know me my name's lisa um and i come from a little place called the isle of Wight at the bottom of the uk um and i've got a background in health and fitness and I've been doing that for about 25 years now. Um, and about four years ago, um, I got uh, involved in a network marketing company, a health and nutrition company, which I absolutely enjoyed, really adored. Um, and it started off really well, um, sort of went up with the momentum, sort of uh, built quite a good team, but brought on a lot of customers as well um, and supported those. But I found over the years, it became much harder because there's so much more competition out there. And it, I just started to struggle to make a, start to make, sort of build my finances up really. Um, but I, my intention was to keep it going because I did see a future with it. But unfortunately, um, that wasn't paying the bills. And I, I noticed that Paul started putting up some uh, little wine sort of posts. So I sort of was a little bit intrigued with that. So we had a little chat and he told me about the opportunity. Uh, and about actually that the, it's really unheard of in the UK, about the success they're already having in America. So um, once I heard what was going on there, I was quite intrigued to sort of give it a go, really. And it sort of made sense to me about what I was doing with my other business. I think I was pretty much in denial of where it was going. I think the, the hope was it was going to get bigger again, but it, it it just wasn't. It really, really wasn't. Even though I loved the products and everything that I promoted. So um, ever since I decided to join Direct Sellers, I felt like a huge weight had lifted off my shoulders. But before I joined, uh, there was one big problem is that I didn't have any money and I really wanted to get my position in. So um, I had to eBay quite a few items. I sold like my food mixer, coffee machine, loads of products that I had left as well. And it got to the night when I joined, was about to join, and I was five pounds short. So it's like, no, five pounds short. So I had to phone up my friend, you know, at 47 years old. Cara, can you lend me five pounds? I just need five pounds to like to get this PayPal transaction over. And um, yeah, she sorted me out, which I was very, very grateful for. But what I feel now is that I can create a future for myself, my family. I've got a six year old son, which I absolutely adore. And um, for the last three or four years, I've had a vision board in front of me. And I've, some of you have seen it before, but it's huge. And I'm always putting things on there. I mean, it could be small things. It could be, you know, go to New Zealand or, or little tiny things. Do you know what I mean? But I felt that I wasn't, it started to become more of a dream rather than a reality and um, anybody out there that's got a family and have these visions there you want to do it while your family is young to enjoy, young enough to enjoy it really and I think um, for me I feel that now I'm going to be able to create a future you know my six-year-old I want him to enjoy these things I want to have lots of life experiences I want to travel I've got world maps everywhere around my house but I haven't actually been many places 
Do you know what I mean? I'll be like a handful of handful of places abroad, really. He's never been abroad. And I just think, you know, life's for living at the end of the day. And I just think with this kind of business, the world is your oyster with this. I've never had a feeling in any kind of business like, like this, really. So for anybody taking a look at this, do you know what I mean? Just take that leap of faith and go for it, really. And over to you, Paul, on that one. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so the, re- the reason that I asked Lisa to share her story, t- two, two reasons, really. Number one, it's, it's a very powerful story. Um, and it's one that probably resonates with quite a few people out there in, in the fact that you've, you know, you've tried various businesses in the past and people have lost a lot of money um, and you know, hope goes down and self-confidence goes down and self-motivation goes down and you know I, I mean I've, I'm from a fitness background and in my like my you know my thinking is one thing I'll never do is quit um I've always I've always set myself very high targets um I've always set myself like very high standards with the work that I do and you know I've I've been in other networking companies and got in and you know been over promised and under delivered and people have offered me that you know the world and you'll be making this and you'll be making that and it doesn't happen and you know it's a very it's a very up and down kind of it is a very up and down business um so to to to, for for Lisa to see the opportunity and and to to do what she had to do to get into this it it you know it makes me proud to kind of have her as a business partner um, and the second reason is over the weekend there was there was master seller testimonials, um, and I got to hear from I don't know six to ten individuals that have hit master seller in the company, but have all had stories like Lisa. And one of the biggest ones that that kind of hit home for me it was a guy, um, M- MJ Whitmore, I think his name was, and he him and his wife found out that they was expecting their second child. Um, and it was a mixed emotions because they, they were struggling financially, but they was ex- obviously excited that they was going to have, have another baby. Um, now, again, I, I can't remember the exact story, so I hope I kind of come across all right. And I've, I know Shayo's on the call and Shayo's going to come on in a minute. And if she needs to, you know, change it around or, or make it right, then she will do. But he lost, he lost his job and he said to his wife that he needs, he, he, he wanted to go to Atlanta and he needed to be in Atlanta because, you know, Atlanta was where it was at. Um, so she, she said to him, you know, go, go to Atlanta. So he, he left his wife and his like the pregnant wife at home where, where, where they was. And he went off to Atlanta. Now he was living on a blow up bed in his friend's house and he got a job as a bartender working 60 to 70 hours a week and all the money that he got he sent home to his wife to help but pay the bills um anyway he he found out in quick succession that they lost the baby and his mate kicked him out of his house um so as you can imagine his world kind of just came crashing down um but then he, he came across Jefferson Green. And again, for those that have been on the call before, for me, Jefferson is an absolute legend in network marketing. He is, you know, he's, he's one of these people that when he talks, like, you listen. And he spoke, to, he spoke to, um, to Jefferson and Jefferson, you know, spoke to him about this business opportunity. And he's basically gone on to become a master seller in quick succession. And he's him and his wife are like rock tight now. They went through all their problems. And I mean, I can't imagine what it would be like to, if, if like, if Tara fell pregnant and to lose a baby, I honestly can't imagine what it'd be like. So, and these were stories that we heard over and over and over and over again, where people have had like financial struggles. They've had family struggles. They've, you know, they've lost their job. They're, they're crawling on their feet and it's, I, I say it to people, I know network marketing is not for everyone, but at the same time, I don't see how it's not because it's the only, for me, it's the only way that you can create a huge change in your life unless you're going to win the lottery. So these stories are real stories. And I know that when we launched the UK, 
right, Lisa, you're going to be one of those master sellers up on stage, like telling your story because it's so powerful. Um, so thank you for, thank you for sharing that again. Um, really appreciate it. I've just been told we've got 10 minutes left, so we're going to carry on going. Right. Um, the second person I'm going to bring on, a guy that's not spoken before yet, but um, he's, um, I've known him for about a year, I think it is. Really excited to have him on board with me. He is, um, he's the Wine Whisperer's best friend, the Wine Whisperer's biggest fan. So, Gary, are you on the call? I am, mate, yeah, I am, yeah. Perfect. So, yeah. Gary, again, if you've just got a few minutes, my friend, just to like share your excitement, share your vision, why you came in and, and where you can see this going. Yeah, sure. Um, well, I'm Gary. I think I spoke to probably most people. Well, I can see on the top line there, and those that haven't, my name's Gary. Um, I'm a production manager, um, so I work um, from about 7 o'clock in the morning till about 5 o'clock in the evening. Um, from there, I've got a small confectionery business as well, um, and until recently, I looked after my daughter's uh, music affairs. So um, the reason I tell you that, that is, again, not to, to boast or brag, um, but to, you know, just to say to people that, um, one of the biggest questions or the, that I get is, um, you know, have I got time to do this? Um, and it was a question that I had to ask myself. But believe me, there, there is time. If, if you want to do this, then there, there is time um, in the day to do it. It's just how much you want to do it. Um, so I, I'd just like to say thanks to Paul for the weekend as well, all the updates that we had. I guess everyone that I know up there would agree. There was some, and there he is, the old Hawaiian whisperer. Uh, I, I think I've got an autograph from him, from him as well when I all come in. So, yeah, he's a, he's a legend. You know, there, there it is. There it is. <laughs> I can't wait to get that. So, uh, yeah, thanks, Paul. I think all of us were waiting, you know, uh, by our Facebooks and, um, you know, social media, waiting for updates and, uh, and delivered, mate. And uh, some of the pictures were amazing. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure most of us will try and get there next time. Um, so how did I join? Um, well, I, I had a, um, a phone call from from Paul and, and um, my other friend called Mike, who is not on the call tonight. Um, and um, they, they called me up and uh, Paul said, uh, listen, mate, I think we found something. And he was like, okay, yeah, yeah okay, let's, let's hear what it is. Um, and he said, yeah, it, it's, um, it's wine. I said, okay, sign me up. But Paul was like, well, don't you want to hear any more about no, just just where do I sign? If it's wine, it's something I said to Paul before, and I know he said it. You know, if if um, MLM did, did wine, we would be in. You know, I would be in you know, like a shot. And he said, yeah, but just let me tell you. He said, you know, it's that new. There's probably only about fifty people doing it so far. And I was like, all right, can we put the phone down? Just send me the link, and then you can tell me about it after because I didn't want to lose any more position. You know, to to go in. And I think I went in around about the 40th person in the UK to do this. If you know about network marketing, you know, that, that, that's phenomenal, you know, that part alone. And then to know it was wine as well, then, you know, that, that just blows your mind. It, it just blows your mind. Um, for me and, and the people on the call now who haven't done network marketing before or maybe thinking about doing this, you know, the concept is so, so easy. It's wine. You know, as, as Paul said, network marketing isn't easy, but the concept is. If you can't talk to people about this concept, then network marketing is not for you. It's it as simple as that. You know, everyone I've spoke to and I've said the word wine, they, they, they lift their eyebrows. Wine? Really? You know, and, and when they know that they don't have to sell it, they're not the ones that have to deliver it. They're, you know, they're, just, they're going away to think about this. It's, it's, you know, we're not trying to you know, convince people about potions, about pills, about health products. You know, um, you know, we're not we're not holding candle parties. You know, and people are smiling when when I tell them it's wine, and they can hold parties. You know, with, with wine, a little bit of cheese, and ham, some meatballs, etc. And um, they're, they're just loving it. They're loving the idea. Or, you know, they're loving the concept of, of getting their friends around, having some fun. You know, you know, and as I said to them, you know, not everybody's going to get on board with this. Not everyone's going to get home, but your friends, your family, uh, and the people that you invite to this party, they're going to go home happy. They, they've tasted some wine. You know, they, they're, going to, they're going to have a full belly. You know, they're going to go away a little bit lightheaded, and they're still going to be your friend. You know, and, that, and that's what I like about it, you know. 
Um, so yeah, that's how I got in and um, you know, um, back to the studio, Paul. Thanks, Gary. Right, we've got five minutes left, so I know I've waffled tonight. So I am going to invite onto the call um, my upline. Um, she is full of beans, and I've witnessed this firsthand. I've gone deaf in both ears over the weekend. Um, Shayo, are you on the call? Oh, my God, I am on the call. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Right, you you've got four minutes and 40 seconds to share yes, a golden yes. nugget with you. Great, 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 great. Good evening. Thank you, Paul, for having me on. You know, I looked at my schedule. I looked at my timing. I thought I could jump on this call. I don't have to leave the airport, I mean, the hotel for another three hours or so. So I, I, I kind of extended my checkout time so I could be on tonight. And it has been an amazing, amazing webinar. Well done, Paul. Woo! Right. <laughs> and also, can I be the first to congratulate you on your new PWL? She got on the system just as you started this webinar. Boom. Right, you. So what do I want to share with you guys? I wanted to say that yesterday um, evening at the hotel, I saw PJ. We were walking around. I saw him hanging around with some other people in corporate. And we just started talking with him, you know, told him who we were. We took a bit of, you know, a few pictures with him, talked about the UK market. And, you know, he went on to assure us that UK launch is going to happen within the next 60 days. In fact, it's going to be less than 60 days. He was so bang sure about that. And then he now went on to say that Kevin Thompson, like Paul mentioned, um, was at the event. They actually had a meeting about the UK at the event, and there was also a UK lawyer present over this weekend in Vegas. So they had a meeting about the UK launch, spearheaded by Kevin Thompson, with a UK lawyer. So that gives us the assurance that everything UK related is being dealt with. They understand the market and they are doing it the right way. So that's what I wanted to share with us all tonight, just to bring that bit of news in, because that happened after Paul left. Um, and also one thing you mentioned about MJ's testimonial, Paul, that was powerful. That was one thing I took away from this event was for us to reconnect with our why. If you can reconnect with your why and share your why with people every time you talk about the business, the people will connect with you. Once the people connect with you, it doesn't matter what business you're doing. It doesn't matter what you're selling. Even if you're cutting down trees, people will follow you because they are connected to you. And that is what happened with those testimonials yesterday. I said to MJ after he finished, I said, that is your story. Everywhere you go, share your story. People will connect with you because of that story. Same thing with Lisa. Lisa, that is your story. Everywhere you share that story, people will connect with you and they will want to partner with you because they see a bit of themselves in your story. So that's all I wanted to share. Thank you so much for having me on, Paul. Um, I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Safe flight back. So in closing, we've got two minutes left. Um, for those that are not in at the moment, um, go back to the person that invited you on this call. Any questions, any queries, any doubts, any hesitations, speak to them. Anything that I can do to help you guys get in, um, I'm here to do it. I genuinely and honestly believe that this will be the biggest social movement that's ever hit the UK market. Um, and I'm excited about what we've got on our hands. I'm excited to, to share the opportunity. Um, and I'm looking forward to, you know, I'm looking forward to launching this into the UK in the next 60 days. So guys, with that, I'm going to end the call. Have a great evening. Have an enjoyable week. And for those that are in, I'll see you on Thursday night on the team call. See you later.